Hello everyone and welcome back to video number three. In this video we're going to create our main player, our main character, and also animate that character. So let's get into it. Last time we were creating backgrounds. So in order to get back to our characters or sprites, I'm going to look at the sprite window down here at the bottom right. And notice they give us the cat by default. But I don't want to use this cat. So in order to delete it, all I have to do is press the trash can with the X. And now in order to create a new sprite, I'm going to use this icon down here that says choose a sprite. And for the purpose of this video, I'm going to create my own character, so I will choose paint. So now I'm given a blank canvas just like we were given for the background. So in order to keep it simple, I'm going to create a stickman character for this game. So I'll start by creating the head, so I'll use the circle tool, and the fill or the inside I want to be filled in with the color black. So now with that selected, I can click and drag to make the head. Notice though that it does not make a perfect circle. In order to keep it as a perfect circle, all you have to do is hold down the shift key. Now as I move it, it creates a perfect circle. So there's our head. We want to make sure our character is centered around this center point here. So we have the head, now I want to make the body, the arms, and the legs. I would recommend if you're going to do a stickman character that you use the rectangle tool instead of the line tool. Sometimes with the line tool it will connect the different body parts. So now I want to create the body of the stickman. There we go. Line that up in the center. And now I want to create the arms and legs. So I'll start with an arm. And notice by clicking those arrows I can rotate. So there's the first arm, we'll put it right about there. And now instead of recreating an entirely new arm, what I can do is choose the arm I just made, and I can copy and paste it to create the same arm. Now what I can do, because I want it to face the other direction, instead of rotating and guessing, what I can do is click on flip horizontal, and it will flip it the other way. So now I have both my arms, and now I want to create my legs. I'm going to do the same thing, just copy and paste those arms and use those as legs. We'll just rotate it a little bit there. So there's one leg, and we will do copy and paste. And I do want to flip that one horizontally as well. And now we have our main character. So if I go up to the game area, I can click and drag him to where I want him to be. And then he seems like, it seems like he's a little bit too big. So what I'm gonna do is resize this character. So notice down here it says size 100. I'm gonna change that, let's say to about 40. There we go, that's about the size I need. And I'll drag him at the beginning of the level. So now we have our main character. The only thing left to do is to animate this character. And this part can get a little tricky. I find myself going to Google and just searching simple walking animation. And I try my best to follow those images. But how animation works is you take an image and you change a little part of it each time to make him look like he's walking. So in order to do this, notice this is our first costume. So what I want to do is create multiple costumes but just make it animated like he's walking. So instead of starting over from scratch every time, what I can do is right click and choose duplicate. Now I can go back into the actual picture and I can start rotating these arms and rotating these legs until I get it to where it looks like he's walking. So notice all I did was change the arms. If I click back and forth, Notice it looks like that character is moving now. So that is just as simple as it is for animation. So this process can take some time. It can be a little frustrating. But ideally, I would say to create maybe three to five images until it looks like your character is walking. So I'm going to take a little time and finish animating my character. I'll see you soon. 
And then also a good tip, sometimes it's hard to select the different body parts. So if you go down to the bottom right over here, you can zoom in. So bring it a little bit closer. That'll make it easier to edit your character. All right, so there it is. Nothing too special, but I have a character and I have four different costumes. So it looks like that player is walking as I move through those costumes. In the next video, we'll find out how to actually use those animations. So as the player is moving, it looks like he is walking. So I would recommend you take some time, create your player, animate your player, and I'll see you in the next video.